Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I feel like God wants to minister to many of you who have experienced loss. I don't know what you've lost. I don't know who you have lost. But I do want to say this. God is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. God is moved by our pain. When you love someone so dearly, of course it tears you up when you have to lose them. But everyone's life must come to an end. And it doesn't mean God is punishing anybody. It doesn't mean God has ignored your prayers. It doesn't mean God doesn't care. There are things in that person that only that person and God knows about, whether they're young or old. And then God has to take into account his purpose. He's not a mean ogre. God is love. So even though you're feeling pain, let me try to encourage you. God is doing what's best for everybody. He's got the whole thing in his mind. He's not looking at one case and one moment in time and one person and one scenario. God's love is working things out. Even God's love brings about death, as hard as it is for you to believe. God's love does bring about death. God's mercy sometimes brings about death. There are some people that if they lived maybe a year too long, they would backslid so far that they would lose their chance. God knows what's in front of us. Some people have a horrible line of experiences in front of us. And God says, no, I'm not going to let them go through that. We can't see what God sees. Please don't lose heart. Listen, I know what it was like. I have lost my father, my mother, my two sisters, and the biggest, and some friends, the biggest, most, the most painful loss for me was my beautiful husband. I cried harder losing him than anyone else. Now listen, I understood it was his time because through God's mercy, God showed me in a vision it was my husband's time and that the evidence would manifest in his head. When I got up that day after the vision, my husband complained of a headache. And I immediately remembered the sack I saw over my husband's head that I had asked the Lord about. When we went to the hospital, I want you to hear. When we went to the hospital, they told us that he had a tumor on the brain. Now, he had lost his eyesight 21 years prior to that. Listen, he had been stuck on dialysis for 10 years. He was a diabetic and had high blood pressure, plus uh, they diagnosed him with congestive heart failure. I mean, it's like, what else was there left to go wrong? Yet, he lived a joyful life. He and I, he and I basked in each other's love for one another. We had a very rich relationship. And he was a rich worshiper. He would 
take his white cane and he'd dance and the tears would come down his eyes. He did not lose heart in God because of all that had come against him. And God strengthened me so that I wouldn't lose heart when I lost my husband. But we had agreed it was his time. He even felt it. God knows what he's doing, you guys. There's a scripture that says in Isaiah chapter 6, the king, the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Sometimes major crisis has to occur in one's life in your life and mine in order for us to see God in a whole new light with some of you you lose your footing you may not lose a loved one you may lose your footing and you may fall into sin horribly and be so ashamed but let me tell you God is a God of restoration and mercy. Ask forgiveness, get up, clean yourself off, and move forward in his love. Don't give up on yourself when he hasn't. There are many ways that we experience loss, and God understands the pain that we have to endure that's why the Holy Spirit was given one of the main reasons not only to empower us to live sin with a new godly nature but to comfort us when we're hurting he says he comforts those that mourn he gives beauty for our ashes he gives the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness God will heal your heart. Please go to him. Don't try to deal with this by yourself. Don't try to make sense out of it right now. Go to God and let him minister to you. Let him encourage you that the loss is not a loss for eternity. Do you hear me? Just be encouraged as much as you can. And whatever you do, don't blame God. Cry out to him so he can carry you through this difficult time of your life. God bless you.